Purple Firefly was one of the rarest items in Roblox Islands, but recently it has become very common. So in this video, I'll be explaining why, explaining what needs to be fixed, and also just explaining the Purple Firefly. In the Firefly's update, the Purple Firefly was most likely the Test Firefly. Like, you guys remember how whenever the Blueprint update happened, how there was a Test Blueprint they forgot to remove, and you had a small chance of getting it, and then some people got it? Well, that was basically like that, but with Fireflies. The game shut down, like, right after the Firefly update happened, so, like, it shut down twice. So I'm guessing in that small time period, people who got in the game, and it was already nighttime, and they just had a lucky chance of getting one of the Fireflies that isn't yellow, some of them could probably have gotten the purple Firefly. Now, it's a very low chance for that, because I think the game was only, like, up for... 30 or 40 seconds before they shut down all servers again, and then Purple Firefly wasn't there anymore, but that's just my guess. That's the only logical reason I can think of why Purple Firefly is in the game, but now Purple Firefly is so common. Like, if you guys remember the Fireflies update, I did a video on the Purple Firefly, and I was one of the only people to own it. I think there might have been maybe 3 to 10 in the game at that time. Now, Purple Firefly is very common. You can find so many sellers of it, and they're usually selling it for around 1 billion to 3 billion. Since you can only get the Purple Firefly from trading, the only reason of why it's so common now is because of dupers. So I've talked to Island staff before about dupers, and some of the things they've said are that they're like private dupe glitches, and since the devs can't find them, they can't patch them, and that they're just trying to find them though so that they can patch them. That's why there are so many items right now, like I bet there are probably a few private dupe glitches right now, and then some people are just making like billions of items and stuff. And then that's why the purple firefly is so common now. Like, there were legit only a few of them in the game, probably. And now, literally everywhere you go, you see people with them. Like, I used to have only two. And then now I have, like... 125 because i just recently bought some you can find people selling them for extremely low prices right now like i saw this guy selling them for 250 million each but most people still sell them for around a billion to two billion on my value list i changed them to one billion because that seems to be the most common price that people are selling and buying them for but they're probably going to drop a lot more if you're watching this video after it was uploaded they're probably way less now but it's kind of sad to see this because there was finally an actual secret item all other secret items are so common they're not even really secret anymore Literally every single time you join a server, you'll always find people with test totems. Purple Firefly was finally very rare, and it was like so secret, it was almost impossible to get. Now like the only actual secret item is the Legacy Food Processor, which I did a video on yesterday, so check that out if you want to know more about it. But there aren't even any confirmed owners of it right now, that's how rare it is. And if I do find an owner, I'm gonna try to buy it. I've been buying the Purple Fireflies ever since the Firefly update with my friends, and we've been trying to collect a lot of them. And then there's some guy that duped them at some point, probably, because they suddenly became kind of common. And then my friends and I tried to buy all of them from whoever owned them. And then after that, then now they are so common. Like, I was trying to get almost all of them so that most of them would get out of circulation so they could be rare again, but now they're so common that it's going to be impossible to do that. Like, I had 7 and that was most of them because that was around when they were maybe 25 in game, and now there are just like thousands. You can find people bulk selling, like, maybe a few hundred, sometimes even a few thousand. If you've been playing Islands for a while, you probably remember the test blueprint. So, about, like, a few months ago, the test blueprint was so rare, I literally had one. And then I found someone else who had one, but I only was able to find them. Literally no one else had it that I knew of. And then all of a sudden, it went from being like 50 million or 100 million and insanely rare to being like 500,000 coins and very common. Right now it's like a million, I think. 
but they were so cheap you could just buy a whole bunch of them and barely spend any coins some people are even selling them for way less than that and it's just pretty crazy this happened with vamp bows vamp bows were going for about 50 million at the start of the update and now they're going for around like 200,000, i think so, so many items are being destroyed, the island's economy is definitely very destroyed from this. But you know how Roblox items, like if you own a limited item, it has a number on it? Well, maybe they could do some type of number system with regular items. And then all items, whenever you get them, every item has a number on it, it could just like not say it on the thing. But if an item is duplicated, then it will have the same number ID thing on it as the other one, and then it could be deleted. So if they did this, they could instantly detect all duped items and then make it so that all items are unique and good and stuff. I don't know how well this would work though, because since so many people play islands, they would need a lot of servers to be able to store all of that information, and it would probably make islands super laggy, but they could probably figure something else out, but if they change the system where you can drop items, or do vending machine things, or do chest things, then they could probably fix this, but it would be very hard to do. And they're still trying like really hard to find all of the duplication glitch stuff so that they can patch it to make it not work anymore. But guys, don't dupe because if you use hacks to dupe, then Roblox has that against their terms of service. Like you can't hack or anything on Roblox or else if Roblox finds out, then you're going to get banned from Roblox. And if you dupe in islands and islands finds out, then you're gonna get banned by the developers. So just like, don't do it, it's a bad idea, and it kinda ruins the islands economy a lot. I know I said earlier, like, they could have IDs for items so that they don't get duped, but maybe they could just have it for super rare items. Like, maybe all of the secret items or something like that, so that those items don't get duped, so at least they stay secret, kind of. But about a week ago, all of my friends and I were buying purple fireflies for like 5 billion to 10 billion, and we were also selling a whole bunch of other items so we could make a lot of coins to buy them, and in total we had about like 40 or 50, and then now, just like a week later, in total we all have a few thousand because they are so common now. Like, we're trying to buy them still, but we're not paying much for them at all because they're becoming so common. So I recommend don't trade for purple fireflies right now, unless if you find one for very cheap, then I guess trade for it and try to sell it for more. But just wait until they stabilize. They're probably going to stop around maybe, I'm guessing, in a week or two, 100 million, or if Islands patches the dupe glitch or whatever anyone is using it to make a whole bunch of them then it will probably be at whatever value it is right now. And then if it gets fixed, then probably in a week or so, it will become more expensive again. But it's just going to be way better if they fix it, because over time, over like a month, all of the secret items start going away if they were kind of common. So Purple Firefly is at the point right now that if the dupers were to stop, it would probably recover to a very good value within like the next month or so. But near the beginning of the Firefly update, I bought the Purple Firefly from one of the few owners, and then I had it originally before all this happened with it, and I literally got offered 50 billion. That is the max amount of coins, 50 billion for it. And while I didn't do the trade, for all I knew, I was the only owner of it, so I wouldn't want to do that trade because, well, if I'm the only owner of an item, then it's basically worth whatever I wanted to trade it for. But I guess that's not the case. Maybe there might have been another way to get it because a few days later, there were, like, a few other owners. But it's possible that maybe they already got it in the beginning, but just noticed it was rare after the hype for Purple Firefly happened. And then one of them must have traded it to a duper at some point, or a hacker must have hacked it in their own inventory and started duping it, because then it became very common. But it's crazy how ruined the island's economy is because of dupers. Like, dupers put so many items in the economy. Since so many people own the items, so many people are trying to sell them, and to compete, people are trying to sell them for lower than others. 
and then eventually people just sell it lower than someone, that person sells it for lower, and it's like an endless loop of the economy going down. Because items just get cheaper and cheaper. Like, almost all amazing demand and high demand items are kind of lowering, especially ones that just come out right when it updates. But normal demand items are kind of where it's good to trade right now, because, like, dupers don't really care about them as much as, like, vamp bows and stuff, because they're only normal demand. So if you want to have stable items and kind of profit, then just trade normal demand items. But it's very risky to trade amazing and high demand and items, especially items like vamp bows, title spell books, vamp bow, title spell book blueprints, and all of those. But purple fireflies are one of the highest demand items right now. If you can find sellers that are selling for a low price and you try to sell it fast, then you could probably profit off of them. But if you just want them because of how they look, that's cool too. But if you're trying to long-term profit off of them, then don't get them because they're just going to keep dropping. But eventually, it's possible they could arise if the dupe glitches are fixed and if they just, like, stop being spread around so much. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the purple firefly and this situation involving it in the comments. Also, make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for daily islands videos. Like the video, join the Discord server and Roblox group in the description for trading and talking about Roblox islands. And follow my Twitter at Telianthric. I'm trying to hit 2,000 followers there and 200k subscribers on YouTube. But I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, YouTube!